Unplugged Dini fans, it's Enrico Nardini for PlayUnplugged.com, and I'm so happy to be back with a Play Unplugged unboxing, and we'll get to that in one moment. I just want to briefly explain why we've had an interlude, about a one-month interlude on the YouTube channel, and the reason for that is because we've been working on a great new editorial schedule. Now, if you go to PlayUnplugged.com, go to the About section, pull down that drop-down menu, and click on Editorial Schedule, you're going to be able to find all of the times in which your favorite Play Unplugged authors are going to be posting new content, whether that be reviews, hobby tip articles. Uh, for example, Monday's Miniature, my weekly column, happens every Monday, and that's going to be our that's going to be the way content is going to be delivered to you from now on in a regular manner that is going to be easy for you to follow. So we do have an unboxing today, though, and I don't want I would be remiss if I took any longer to get to it because this is an exciting one. The Warhammer Dwarves Gyro Bomber slash Gyrocopter Kit that was just released. And it, this is something of a coming home for me because I am a long-suffering dwarf player. And the other reason I say that is because I'm not exactly fond of the previous Warhammer Dwarves book. I took a brief glance at my copy of the new one, and I'm really excited. Uh, it's my largest Warhammer army. I've been a fan of dwarves since the Rankin and Bass Hobbit movie, and uh, The Hobbit itself is actually my favorite book. I love, 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 love dwarves. Uh, my favorite fantasy race, and so I'm very excited to be digging in and adding uh, some uh, some of these new kits to my dwarf, my currently existing dwarf army. So, without any further ado, let's crack this puppy open and see what's inside. So, folks, here we are with the Warhammer Dwarf Gyrocopter slash Gyro Bomber kit. I should say Gyro Bomber. That's what it says up there. But actually, it does. When we turn it over, you can see it also makes this Gyrocopter. It is a kit for both, which is pretty common now with plastic kits. They're usually dual purpose. So we're going to tear into this plastic and we'll see what's inside. And I'm expecting a high quality plastic kit. Games Workshop really does a nice job. Uh, I'm, I certainly have criticized Games Workshop for things that I think they deserve to be criticized for. At the same time, uh, there's no denying they make some of the best multi-part plastic kits in the industry. Open this up. And so here we go. We'll take a look at each separate sprue. All right, so we've got an instruction booklet in here. Many pages. There are at least two ways to assemble this kit, plus some extra different weapon options. And I do like that they include this. One of the things is with uh, plastic multi-part kits, it can be really confusing sometimes, depending on the number of pieces. So the more detailed the instructions, the better. I do think it's interesting. Um, this part on the back, which has the stats, is kind of superfluous because really, uh, if you don't have the book, you can't play with this model. So having this back here is, you know, I mean, it's interesting, but it's not really that useful. I guess it's, you know, I was going to say to show the completed kit, but here's a, another picture of the completed, the actual completed kit. So I'll move that out of the way. Let's take a look at these sprues. This seems to be, this larger sprue, seems to be the main sprue. Yep, that's everything out of the box. And of course, um, we've got our flight stand and our square base for mounting it. Uh, the flight stands now have this little ball. And um, so the, usually they can just plug right in and actually you can pull them on and off uh, with some of these kits. So let's take a look. So here we have the sprues proper, and so you can see this is the actual gyrocopter sprue, um, and it's really nicely detailed. Uh, there's a lot of filigree and runes carved into the chassis of this flying machine. Uh, there even is detailing, like, for example, this, this like padded leather seat back uh, for the pilot, which I really like. Um, and some of the weapon options are also displayed on here and the different propellers and things like that, uh, as well as the, the different fins. And, and it just really, it's a, it's a very nicely detailed sprue. Uh, it looks beautiful. And so, if you're going to go with the bomber variant, you'll include this rack of bombs. Once again, nice looking, nicer than actually uh, I feel like it looks on the uh, on the built model. To be honest, uh, I'm not I'm not that big of a fan of the uh, of the gyro bomber variant as far as appearance goes, but 
Uh, the sprue's kind of winning me over a little bit, so maybe that's just the paint job. That could just be the paint job. I do like the inclusion of this rock where your flying base is going to be posted into. First of all, it's kind of nicely detailed, but also it's going to give it a lot more stability than trying to drill it just into the base, which is pretty cool. And there's a nice pilot. Here's the pilot's body right over here, and there's the front. And one of the cool things is he's got that furry aviator-type jacket, and I just can't imagine using a head that didn't have these aviator goggles, particularly the one that's featured the most. I really do like that head. It really is pretty great. Uh, so I think you're going to really enjoy it. Nicely done kit. Very nicely done. Well, thanks for watching this unboxing of Games Workshop's Warhammer Dwarves Gyro Copter slash Gyro Bomber kit. For more news, reviews, and hobby tips, check out playonplug.com. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. Those are ways that we can communicate with you so you'll know when the latest articles are released. And thanks for watching. <laughs>